Hi guys, this is PK for AtomicSeaver.com and I'm here with Andino and this is another video. Uh, I got a request for this actually, it's about how to practice. So uh, give us some tips on what you think is the best way to practice new moves. Best way to practice? Moves. Just moves? Yeah, moves. not routines, but moves. In general, alright. Best way to practice is every chance you possibly can get. Uh, this is talking like in front of the TV, if you're watching a movie, if you're doing whatever, if you ever got free time, if you're traveling on a bus or if you're, wherever you can, practice the move over and over again. And then practice it without looking at the cards, practice, practice it while talking to somebody else, practice it just without putting all your focus onto what you're doing. All right, wait. Yeah. That, that's what I was going to say. What's that? About practice? Yeah, just sit in front of the TV, just do it all the time. Well, that's right. what I do. So yeah, yeah. It makes so, sense. Wait, look at that. And that means that that's what we both do. Yeah, right. yeah. I'm going to have to add something else to that. But yeah, right. just, uh, give us an example of what what you did. Like, all right. Any, any move that you so sat even, in front of the TV? And, even right now when we're speaking, uh, I'm practicing little cuts. And you're practicing cuts too. Yeah. So you're doing it with that really thinking about it, you're just doing it in a natural motion. So you are you get the muscle memory in your fingers to start doing the work. All right, so right now I'm just like practicing a little a little cut or a little Charlie A or anything like that. So what you want to be doing is practicing it while talking to people as well. Um, because when you're in performance, you're going to be doing most of your moves while you're talking to people. So if you're on the couch with your partner and you're having a chat about something, have a deck of cards in your hands and just start practicing the moves to get the muscle memory into your fingers. Once your muscle, once your fingers get so used to doing the move, uh, push turkeys. Push turkeys. You won't have to look Only at the cards Only in Australia. <laughs> <laughs> you get those things just being natural. You get, you, get, you get used to them after a while. You do. First time I got here, I was like, what? <laughs> like, why do we have birds so big just wandering around in the middle of the city? It's just wow. it's like, it's yeah, Australia. Australia. Yeah. yeah. Australia. <laughs> Australia. <laughs> yeah, so just practice it. Get your, your fingers to. Do you know the name of that it? double? Stuart Gordon double. Stuart Gordon double? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, no, See, no. He does this all the time whenever we're talking. He does a Stuart Gordon double all the time. Yeah, I was doing the hot shot cut a lot, and I can't do it right now. It's too humid too much, or too much pressure too much pressure there we go yeah, yeah. Nice. there we go I was doing the hot shot cut I think for about two months because my fingers wouldn't stretch that well over here yeah and I couldn't yeah. do that so it took me about two months of doing this in front of the computer uh, in front of TV whenever I'm watching movies just all day all day because yeah. I wanted to do it the proper way the way Daryl does it and I had to do it for about two months. Yeah. And that's that's how long it took for that. It takes a long time. Yeah. yeah. Uh, even alternating between the Elmsley and Jordan for me. Right? Yeah. 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 Uh, this took me about a month or so. I don't know. Like, yeah. It took me a while yeah. to get those two looking exactly the same. Yeah. And like doubles looking like singles, singles looking like doubles with the strike. Yeah. That took me a couple weeks actually. Yeah. I was lucky with that. Yeah. But then I, you know, Some every moves time. Some take long enough. Yeah, yeah. Take a but then, yeah, you know, like, like every little chance you get, that's what, that's what you're doing. What is, yeah, that's what you're doing yeah. all the time with everything. And yeah. it just becomes a second nature, like you said, with muscle memory. Yeah. So now I have to add something new to that because that's exactly what I was going to say. Sorry about that. No, <laughs> no, that's why I asked you first. You get first dibs. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, another thing that I would add to that would be shadow performing. Oh uh, yeah. Shadow performing. Because uh, there's there's another video about shadow performing that I have on the channel. I'll add a link here, and they're doing something to surfboards over there. I don't know why you would get that sound. Yeah. Are you drilling holes in the surfboard or? Yeah. We're next to the surf club here, so this is next to the beach, and that's this is where we live. <laughs> Anyways, for example, if you're doing the Elmsley, it's just like this, four parts, and just counting off one, two, three, four parts should look exactly the same as counting off one, two, three, four parts in the Elmsley. And that will be your frame of reference that you need to copy, and now I'm doing the Jordan, and it looks, should look the same. 
And that, if you practice in front of the mirror and shadow perform, because you know what it's supposed to look like, and you keep alternating what you're doing as a shadow performance, mm -hmm. and then you do the regular move, mm -hmm. keep going back and forth, and once they look the same, that's where you want to be at. So yeah. that's why I do the double single, double single, double single as practice, and just a four card, four card count, and then yeah. the Elmsley, and then the Jordan, then the four, Elmsley, Jordan, yeah, that makes yeah. all three look exactly the same. So then, yeah. whenever you're doing something weird, not, not weird, but whenever you're doing a move, and whenever you're not doing a move, it will look the same. Your whole body language is the consistent. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think yeah. That, that, that's another thing that we yeah. can use. Yeah, right, yeah. right, yeah. Yeah, came up with something new. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, so our two main ideas. One is... Practice all the time. Practice all the time for everything. Every, everything. Every, every chance, yeah. breathing moment <laughs> yeah. that you won't get into trouble with. Yeah. Um, but you want to be at the point where you don't have to think about the move at all. That's where the muscle memory, you don't want to yeah. think about it so that when you're performing, you can just do the move because your fingers know what to do. Oh yeah, and then it just becomes invisible once you get that natural. So that's the same thing with shadow performing as well because you need to look, you need to know what you're supposed to look like when you're not doing the move. So when you're doing the move, it looks the same. Yeah, so thanks for joining us this time, not me alone. <laughs> Yeah, 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 not me alone, but um, us outside enjoying nature and bush turkeys yeah. and stuff and surfboard modifications, I think. I don't know. Yeah, so, so thanks for, that needs to be edited. Uh, so, so thanks for joining us and um, you know how YouTube works, comment, uh, subscribe, everything is free. Yeah, good, right? Everything is free. So comment, subscribe, and maybe I'll see you next video. All right, guys, thanks.